Welcome to another Yak PDB tutorial. In this tutorial I will quickly explain you how you can set up the anti-raid code that I've coded for the Yak PDB Discord bot. You can get that on my from my disc uh, disc from my GitHub repo. This is the first link in the video description. Navigate to auto moderation and here click on anti-raid. It's important that you read this entire setup. If you don't read that, it might be possible that you set the code up wrong and that it kicks or bans the wrong people. That means pay attention to this tutorial. First off, let me discuss what this code does and how I tested it. So, I've tested this code on a server with over six, uh, 60,000 people. The server got raided three times within a week and every time I tried to improve the code and made sure it works. The code works by looking at how many people join within how many seconds. For example, on the server I tested it, I set it to 15 seconds and 5 people. That means if 5 people within 15 seconds join your server, it will trigger the rule set, it will trigger the join message and the rule set and it will start kicking, banning or muting people. Here you can see a few examples. This is when it started. I set up a debug message so you can see when it starts. Here a bunch of people join at the same time and then Yak PDB bans or kicks them all in this case. You can also see this here if you go to your Automat V2 dashboard and navigate to logs. Then you can see who got kicked, muted or banned. This will not lock the first five people. Um, let's get to the setup process. So the setup process is a bit more difficult. Um, <laughs> this will be where I will be inserting this video tutorial link so you can see how it works. First off, make sure you download the join message code. You can find it by clicking here or selecting the join message code here. Click on RAW, right click, select all, right click copy. Navigate to your dashboard and go to notification and feeds and click on general. Here you can find the join message in server channel. Make sure this is turned on. Select a channel you want it to run in. This doesn't matter if you don't use the debug message and if you don't already have a join message set up. Then you can paste the code in here. If you already have a join message set up, you can keep the join message above or below, that doesn't matter. Let's set up the code. The debug uh, you can enable debug by setting debug to true. This will then send some kind of message that looks similar to this, saying that the rule set is now enabled. You don't need to do this, so this is off by default. You can also change the channel output if you like to. Then, the rules of placeholder. This is important. Let's first hit save here. Let's go to the Automat V2. Here you can create rule sets. Type in a rule set name, for example, test. Make sure to turn off the rule set because it will start auto kicking or auto banning or auto muting the people, the join. Click on save, create a new rule set. You can name this whatever you want. I will name this tutorial if I can type. There we go. As trigger, make sure you select new member, and as effect, you could choose between, I'd say, ban user, mute user, or kick user. I wouldn't personally select mute user, and if you are scared to ban the wrong people, I'd say kick user. So in this case, let's pick kick user. We can set as kick message, for example, anti raid yak pdb. Then hit save. You can go back to the notification and feeds, to general, and here you can set up your code. 
Make sure you input the rule set name we picked test in this case. So it is the same rule set. If it isn't the same rule set, it will not work. We can confirm this by hitting save and going back to the rule set. You can see its name is test, so we did it right. The seconds at the people. This is the most important stuff of the code. Here you will here you will be able to configure how many people can join within how many seconds and when it will activate. In this case, the default is if five people join within 60 seconds, anti-rate will be turned on. I don't recommend sending people to something higher than five. You should be able to lower seconds to like 15 if you have a large server or if you have a small server you can also do like 300 for 5 minutes because 300 seconds is 5 minutes or keep it at 60. Here you can select the effect. I will stay with kick but you can also select mute and ban here. You should pick the effect that you picked in Auto Moderator V2. Everything is now set up, the join message is enabled, and you can hit save at the bottom. That's it. Now, anti-rate is set up on your server, and if a lot of people join at the same time, the bot should now enable the rule set, and then the rule set should kick, ban, or mute all the people that join. And then if the raid is over, and the threshold drops below x people in y seconds, or 5 people in 60 seconds, then the rule set will automatically turn off and new members won't get kicked, banned or muted again. Thanks for watching my tutorial.